Greetings and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to make XFCE look more like GNOME by installing a single app called Lightpad. GNOME is a very popular Linux desktop environment and features a more modern look and feel. However, GNOME is more hungry on system resources and is less customizable. XFCE, on the other hand, is known for its efficiency and stability. But XFCE has not significantly changed the look and feel of its menu system for over a decade. Its menu looks like something from the Windows 98 days. But adding the Whisker Menu plugin can upgrade it to look and feel closer to Windows 7. There is a way to modernize the XFCE menu with an app called Lightpad. It can be installed in any Arch, Debian, or Ubuntu based distro. First, I will show you how to do it in CacheOS, an Arch-based distribution. And you will have to do this in the terminal, but don't worry, I'll walk you through it. As prerequisites, you will have to install Git and the developer files needed for compiling. To do this, enter the following command in the terminal. Next, enter these commands to install the needed build dependencies. Next, you will need to clone the git repository and cd into the correct folder. Do this with the following commands. Finally, enter these commands in succession. That's it! Lightpad is now installed in your system. To test it, you can launch this command. Lightpad will not reveal itself in the menu by default. To change this, run your file manager as root and go to the slash user slash share slash applications folder. Locate the Lightpad desktop file and open it with your text editor. Then navigate to line 10, hash out that line and save your file. Now if you go to the menu, Lightpad should appear when you search for it. Here I am adding it to my panel. And with a little bit of tweaking, my panel now looks like this. What's even better is that since Lightpad is a standalone app, it's not limited to just XFCE. Here I am in KDE Plasma, and as you can see, Lightpad is running fine here too. I got the information from the GitHub page and I will put a link in the description below. Here, it will also give you instructions on how to install Lightpad on Debian or Ubuntu-based distros. This concludes my tutorial for today. If you like these kinds of videos, please give it a thumbs up. And until next time, take care, everybody.